I mean, the stories that some people tell us about like being alive in Jamaica and hanging out in, in the 60s, are, like they, they refer to violence in really casual ways. You know, like our friend told us this story about like, he was trying to tell us a funny story. Like, yeah, you want to hear a funny story about, you know, our buddy used to fall asleep, <laughs> you know, all the time. He'd get drunk and he'd fall asleep. We were asking about somebody, yeah? And he goes, yeah, man, he fell asleep once and he fell asleep in this bar <laughs> and he passed out on a table and he fell on the floor. And like, we're all getting ready to laugh, right? We're like, haha, that's really funny. He's like, yeah. And then a guy came in, two guys, and they shot everybody in the bar, right? And we're like, wow, really? And then, yeah, they machine gun everybody in the bar. And they didn't get him because he was on the floor already, you know? So, and we're like, what? That's fucked up. And he's like, isn't that funny? He's like, but it gets funnier, right? <laughs> he's like, then they were going to burn everybody. <laughs> so they pour gasoline on everybody. And he was still sleeping, right? And they light everybody on fire. <laughs> and he jumped up because he realized that he was on fire. And they thought he was a dumpy. <laughs> and they ran. They thought he was a ghost, and they ran away. And this is a joke story. This is like, is that the funniest story you ever heard? I'm like, we're sitting there. We're like, our faces are like white, like ashen. You know what I mean? We're like nauseous at the idea that somebody could go and fucking shoot an entire bar full of people and then burn them, you know? Yeah. And he, like, the guy thought nothing of telling us this story. I mean, from what it seemed. Yeah. So, like, to me... That gives me the impression that, yeah, <laughs> that violence is looked upon in a very different way.